Down go the Cardinals. Up go, not the Patriots. Couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. I couldn't move the Patriots from two to one in a week where they didn't play. So the Packers jumped from three to one. Also, I made the the, the judgment that I would get far fewer hostile emails and tweets from Patriots fans about the Patriots not being number one than I would from Packers fans about the Packers not being number one. So I just decided, go ahead and make the Packers number one and be done with it. And it's been a peaceful day since we posted the power rankings, Chris. Yes, that's a look behind the curtain at the high-level algorithms I employ. How big of a hassle is it going to be for me to have to deal with the fan base that's disgruntled that it's not number one? So congratulations, Packers. You're number one. Patriots at two. Bucks at three. Anything jump out to you in the top ten that seems off or askew? I don't know if I look at anything being crazy off. I don't. You know, I would have the Bucks in front of the Patriots still. I think I would have the Patriots as number three. Um, I'd probably have the Chiefs in front of the Rams. You know, I know that was a big win for them. But, I mean, the Chiefs, again, just what they've done over the last five, six weeks, I think has warranted them to be ahead of the Rams who have just righted the ship here the last two weeks. But, again, I'm not, like, mad. I don't go, oh, that's absolutely crazy and stupid. You know? Hey, the team that I'll say that I'm just – I'm not sure about or I question, again, is, is number nine on that list. You know? My heart of hearts, I don't think the Ravens are better than the Colts or the 49ers um, or the Buffalo Bills, for that matter. I don't. But, again, I know their record's better and, and all of that, so it, it's hard there. But uh, that's that to me, they're one of the question mark teams that we got in the playoffs right now where it's hard to get a feel. They're tough. They're battle-tested. I respect John Harbaugh. I'm just not sure how good they actually are. They're the car that is moving into the final lap of the race, and there's a fender that's flown off, and yeah, there's a right. wheel that's flat, right. and there's no gasoline left, and the driver fell asleep, and I mean, just everything, and they're just hoping they can will the car to the finish line and be on the right side of the 14 that make it to the postseason. That's a point that's made by it's getting real. The Ravens are toast. It doesn't have much to do with the injuries that they keep crying about. It's about the gimmick offense, which everyone has figured out how to stop. That's part of it too, because it is more than the injuries. Yeah. Offensively, they're just not impressive anymore. They're not impressive like they were. And it is a combination of injuries and scheme, but I won't be surprised if Greg Roman is gone after this season. Um, well, I, I know. I See, won't be surprised. I wouldn't be either. I mean, there, there does seem to be an uprising. I, I I don't want to blame Greg Roman completely here. This is to me where it's a little unfair. You know, again, hey, d does their offensive passing game, you know, want you to want more? Sure. But again, they're built to run the football. That's what they're built to do. You know, it'd be like me going, well, why, why don't the Chiefs become the best running team in football? They're not throwing it good. Why aren't they They're just running the ball and being dominant? Because that's not what they are. That's not what they're built to do. And they've taken huge injuries on the offensive line, the running back situation, and it's caused, you know, the, the biggest thing in their offense to be less than. So now they have to rely on something that's not their bread and butter. It's not their quarterback's bread and butter. He can throw and make plays, and we know that, but he's not Tom Brady or Drew Brees that way. That's not what he is. So I think there's got to be a little bit of like, you know, I, I guess what I wanted to say is some common sense there a little too. Greg Roman's done a lot of good things there, and they've been special the last few years. This year's been a little bit of a struggle, but I think injuries can be blamed on that to a degree, and I, I don't think he deserves all the blame here, even though, hey, I'd like to see their pass offense be a hair more creative too. Hi, I'm Mike Tirico, and thanks for watching. Make sure to hit subscribe for the latest news and highlights from NBC Sports.